Hello my dear students, welcome to Teachers Daily. Today we are going to discuss about third question of exercise 9.1. So let's see what is the question. Add the following. I have already explained how to add or subtract algebraic expression in my previous videos. If you are new to my channel, please watch my previous videos. I will give the link in my description box. So let's see how we can add this question. So first we have to combine the like terms. That also I explained in my previous videos. Please watch that video. So now we can combine like terms. So here you know that AB and minus AB are like terms. So next we can combine another like terms minus BC and plus BC. So we finish here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms are here. So now we have finished 4 terms. So we have pending 2 more terms. So let us see which one. So minus CA and plus CA. So now we combine all the like terms. So now we can start to solve. From this we can understand AB minus AB is 0 because you know that plus 5 and minus 5 is same number with a different sign means the answer is 0. So plus AB and minus AB is cancelled. Similarly minus BC and plus BC is cancelled. Minus CA and plus CA is cancelled. So the answer is 0. If you feel any difficulty to solve like this, we can try another method. So, I am writing now AB minus BC. So, first term. So, I am writing another like term. So, minus AB here and plus BC here. So, minus CA and we can write here plus CA. So, I combine all the like terms here. Here you can see. So, you know that different sign same variable that means this is cancelled. So, answer is 0. Here also same variable with a different sign. So, this is cancelled. Answer is 0. Here also same variable but different sign. So, the answer is 0. So, I hope you understood first question of question number 3. So, first you had to combine the like terms then you can add or subtract. So, now we can do the second question of question number 3. This is our second question A minus B plus AB, B minus C plus BZ and C minus A plus AC. So now we can combine the like terms. We can solve this question in two ways. First I am writing A. So let's see which one is the like term of this A here. So minus A. So I, am, I wrote minus A. So we finish this one and this one. Next I wrote minus B and which one is the like term of minus B here you can see plus B. And next one is plus AB. So here I took. So here no plus AB. So this finish. Next we can see minus C and plus C. So next plus BC. Here nothing. So I wrote plus BC here. Next plus AC. So that also I continued here. So now we can start to solve this question. You know that A minus A means 0. Minus B plus B is 0 minus c plus c is 0. So, what is pending here? a b plus b c plus a c. So, this is the answer of this question. So, we can try in another way. So, I am writing a minus b plus a b. So, what is the like term of a here? Minus a and what is the like term of minus b? Plus b and what is the like term of a b? Nothing. So, I am giving just 0 here. Next one is, so this we finish. Next we, B we took here. Next is C. So I am writing here minus C and plus C here. Then plus BZ, there is no like term of plus BC. So I am writing here. So here, here there is no like term of BC. So I am giving 0. So this we finish. Next is Z we finish. A we finish. So one is pending that is plus AC. So here no like term of plus AC. So I am giving 0. So now we can solve this one. So you know that A minus A is 0 plus B minus B is 0. So AB plus 0 is AB minus C plus C is 0 plus BC plus 0 is plus BC and plus AC plus 0 plus AC. So we got the answer AB plus BC plus AC. So you can choose any of these two methods which one is easy for you that you can opt from this. This is our third question 2p square q square minus 3pq plus 4 and 5 plus 7pq minus 3p square and q square. So now we can solve this question in two way. 
So, first we can write 2p square q square. So, what is the like term of 2p square and q square? So, this one. So, minus 3p square and q square. So, this we finish and this also we finish. Now, minus 3pq. So, what is the like term of minus 3pq plus 7pq? Here you can see these are the like terms with the same variables. So, next pending is plus 4 and plus 5. So, now we can start to solve this question. So, here you can see 2 minus 3. This is the question for addition. You know that 2 minus 3 means subtract and give greater number sign. So, that means minus p square q square. So, this we finish. Next, minus 3 p q plus 7 p q minus 3 plus 7 is minus 3 plus 7. So, here you can see if different sign comes means subtract and give greater number sign. So, 4 p q. So, next 4 plus 5, 9. So, this is the answer. So, now we can try another way. 2 p square q square minus 3 p q plus 4. So, 5 this is constant. So, we have to write here. So, plus 7 p q and minus 3 p square and q square. So, let us solve this question. So, here you can see p square, p q square. Here you can see this is like term. So, no need to do anything just to copy down. So, 2 minus 3 means this is plus, this is minus. Subtract and give greater number sign. So, minus 1 p square q square. So, here also p q write different sign. Subtract and give greater number sign. So, here this is 9. So, you got the same answer here and here. So, you can... Which one is easy for you that you can work from this. So, so this is our fourth question. L square plus M square. M square plus N square. N square plus L square. 2LM plus 2MN plus and 2NL. So, how we can do this question. So, L square plus M square. So, here you can see L square. Like term of L square is this one. So, like term of M square is another m square also there so we, we wrote here next is n square there are two n square so that we finish so this all we finish because when you look at this you can see this all are unlike terms so 2 l m plus 2 m n plus 2 n l so you know that l square plus l square means 2 l square and m square plus m square means 2 m square n square plus n square means 2 n square. We now we combine all the like terms. These three terms are the unlike terms. We can't do anything here. So, that means just copy here. So, this is our answer. Now, we can do in another way. L square plus m square plus n square. So, here L square. So, which one is the another L square? So, here then this we finish now m square so here also so i wrote here now there are two n square so this we finish now this one is the unlike term so here we can write 2 l m plus 2 m n plus 2 n l so for avoiding confusion i am just giving zero here so you know that l square plus l square is 2 l square m square plus m square 2 m square n square plus n square 2 n square this is just copy down 2 l m plus 2 m n plus 2 n l. So, this is the answer. I hope you understood how to add algebraic expressions. If you need any clarification, please mention in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.